Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise, myself Jason, today bringing you Whiskey Review into the Dalmore Core Range, where we're going to start off in this video with the Dalmore 12 year old. So Dalmore is a whiskey from the Highlands, it's very well known for its 12 pointed stag which is on the bottle of each individual whiskey. And I thought let's go through the Dalmore Core Range because the people have been asking me about the 15, the 18, the 12. So I decided I'm going to get them all together, I got the 12 uh, from Master Malt, Drinks by the Dram. I got the 15, the 18, and the cigar malt, and then we've also got the King Alexander. Now, I did also purchase a 15-year-old full bottle, which I got, I think, recently. And if you follow me on social media, I'll leave them over here. You'll see I picked up the 15 on Amazon on a special price. I think it was only like £30, so crazy good buy on that one. And uh, let's get into reviewing the Dalmore 12-year-old. So, I'll leave a picture of the bottle over there. It looks very similar. All the bottles do look similar, but the different coloration on the outside. Now, in terms of the actual review style structure, we begin with the age on this whiskey, and it is a 12-year-old expression, bottled at an ABV of 40% ABV. The cast selection for the 12-year-old is nine years in American White Oak ex bourbon cast before being then transferred over into Oloroso Sherry Butts for three years. Now, the distillery itself is the Dalmore Distillery, which you can see Mr. Bananas hiding behind. They are owned by the parent company, White & Mackay, who actually own a blend. You guys know your blend, you'll see there's a blend called White & Mackay. And they are located in the Highlands of Scotland. Now, in terms of the overall price point on the 12-year-old bottle, you're looking at around about £40. It does fluctuate up and down, and sometimes you can pick it up on a very good price, so even sometimes under 30 if you're looking at those flash sales sometimes that some websites do have. In terms of exclusivity-wise, it's not exclusive. It's part of the core expressions. And in terms of caramel colour, I have to say it does include caramel colour. So that all there is not natural. This is all artificially coloured, which I really... Yeah, I don't understand why many brands do use a lot of caramel colour. But in Dalmore, you will see this. They use caramel colour throughout the whole range. So that means we do not have to assess the colour. Let's begin by assessing the nose. Into the nose. So to start out on the nose of the Dalmore 12, it does immediately open up with those lots of those red berry characters. I'm talking goji berries, raspberries, almost like you're getting dried raspberries, raisins, dark raisins, and even a little bit of sweetness on the end of fudge cubes. There is a little character behind that of honeyed cinnamon giving a little bit of spice, bringing itself up a little bit more. But then it's followed up again with like a mixture of these sort of dried fruits and berries. A bit of dates going on, prunes. And there's a slight muskiness on the end of that, almost like a Dunnage warehouse. So you get a little muskiness you get at the back and the bottom part of the warehouse. Overall, that's about it for the nose. Let's get into the palate, Slanger. So to begin things out on the palate for this whiskey, the Dalmore 12 starts out quite light in texture. It's quite easy, quite mellow. Those fruity characters straight away immediately come to mind. Fig cake, dried dates, raisins. Actually, I'd go so far to saying actually it's like a cinnamon swirl, which you get from sometimes a coffee shop, but it's got those dates inside glazed over the top of the bit of icing. And you're taking a big, nice bite out of it. I'm going to have a second sip because there's like a few other notes on the end I'm picking out. Continuing on from the second sip, those flavours of fruity characters are really coming through. It's a lot of fruitcake now coming on the palate. There is a little bit of chocolate, like dark chocolate, but it's not a heavy dark chocolate. It's actually quite mellow, quite soft. I'd say around about 50 to 60% dark chocolate, but still quite rich. It's followed up with a nice citrusy zing that goes along. This is like an orange citrus peel. And right on the end, there's a little bit of warmth that comes through, and it's like a ginger stem, just igniting a little bit of heat and reactivating the palate. Really easy going on the palate for this one. Let's get into the finish, and then come to my conclusions on the Dalmore 12. So to begin on the finish for this whiskey, it does have quite a lot of citrus going on the palate. That spice is followed up like a citrus spice along the sides of the palate, a little bit on the tip of the palate. A lot of candied dates now are coming into it. There's sweetness, but with that little bit of a fruity, a dry character. Prunes, but quite rich and sort of juicy prunes. And the dry fruits now play themselves all over different parts of the palate. The finish, 
I was thinking it was initially short, but then keeping it there a little bit longer and then just waiting for it to finish was giving more along the lines of, I'd say, a short medium, maybe even a medium finish, as I can still feel it hanging around on the mid and back palette. So overall, quite a nice whiskey. Um, I have to give my rating and my score, and I'm going to go here. I'm giving the Dalmore 12 year old a very respectable 84 out of 100. Reason behind that, I just feel the absolute quality of the whiskey is coming through in terms of the young, youthful whiskey, but those fruity characters that have been taken from the sherry cask and really coming through on the palate, making it mellow, palatable, enjoyable, especially for an entry level whiskey, it just does the job so well. My downside on this whiskey and sort of my the thing I don't like necessarily is for an entry level whiskey, uh, you're paying around about £40, so price-wise, it's debatable. 40 is acceptable, but I think it's a little bit on the high end. And the big flaw in this one for me is the caramel colour. I feel some whiskies just don't need it. They've got the natural great qualities. And this one, I feel, is just too much of caramel colour. And you can actually see it when you look at the whole range, which I'll do at some point. I just feel that sort of lets it down. The price point and the fact that it's caramel colour. However... It is a really nice whiskey. It's got a nice balance of fruity red fruits and sort of red berries. And in terms of does it need time, not necessarily. You can drink this one straight away from pouring it. And it does need water as it's quite soft and mellow as it is. So overall, 84 out of 100 on the Dalmore 12 year old. Let me know your thoughts if you've tried this whiskey or any of the Dalmore range. And uh, we're gonna get to the next one as we go through the video. So on that note, if you have enjoyed the video, by means feel free to drop it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button over there and I'll leave some new Dalmore videos which I'll be releasing in the upcoming days on screen. But on that note, this has been Jason Whiskey Wise and I'll catch you all for the next video. Slanger.